If you look at how venture capital has worked with energy companies, these businesses aren't a great match for the funding sources we have today. They need more time, they need more money, and they encounter more risk. As a result, for the earliest stage companies doing the most important things, it's just been hard for them to secure investment capital to get started. The role that Prime can play is to give these companies a launching pad, get them to achieve escape velocity, and philanthropic capital is uniquely suited to do that. As an entrepreneur, I'm very familiar with the venture capital industry, but when it comes to foundations and charitable contributions, that's a very difficult space to navigate. And so, you know, that's, that's the reason why it was so critical to work with Prime, because most entrepreneurs don't even know where to begin when it comes to funding a venture like this with charitable contributions. A PRI is a program-related investment, meaning it's coming out of a charitable foundation to go towards a business that's raising investment capital, so it's not a grant, but they're a business that has some sort of impact component to it that aligns with what the foundation is interested in. If you're a philanthropist and you're thinking about how you put a grant to work, right? You're going to give someone a dollar to go out and do something. Well, what if that dollar could come back to you? Even if 20% of it came back to you, you now granted that dollar 1.2 times. You were a philanthropic genius. I think that the philanthropic community is waking up to the fact that for the right kinds of opportunities, the right kinds of breakthrough companies, PRIs are a superior form of grant. One of the other reasons that PRIs often don't happen in foundations is it's really hard to find companies that are ready for that type of capital. It's hard to find companies that are really checking some of the impact boxes that we like to see. And a group like Prime who can bring 15 to 20 different opportunities of companies who need PRI dollars tomorrow was tremendously helpful in shepherding us through that process. So Prime has done something really remarkable with QuidNet Seed Round. It's brought in three very different types of investors each contributing capital in a different way, in a program-related investment, in a conventional angel investment, and in something called a recoverable grant. And I think Prime has this crucial role as a kind of translator or navigator between different types of investors, between the philanthropic community and entrepreneurs, to bring them together to do something that can both be right and in the long term could be very lucrative. QuidNet would have had a lot of difficulty raising funding through uh, traditional means. It's a very high risk experiment that we're doing. It's never been done before. And so that's why it was so important for us to attract a different source of funding that is looking at this venture and not saying, how are you gonna generate revenue in the next quarter, but how much of an impact can this technology have if you can get to scale? We at Sorensen are tremendously excited about what QuidNet is building because the solution the company is creating is something that could fundamentally change energy storage. Everybody would love to find a way to power the grid off of the sun when it's not shining, the wind when it's not blowing. The problem is that can be really expensive. Batteries are really expensive. Flywheels are really expensive. If you had an approach where much of what you would otherwise pay for was given to you by Mother Nature, you could get the costs low enough that it wouldn't just compete with, but can actually beat generating more electricity through natural gas or coal plants. I think QuidNet's uniquely suited to do that. The seed funding that we raised from Prime, we're gonna to use to actually build a demonstration facility. So we're gonna take over an abandoned oil and gas well. And instead of using it to produce hydrocarbons, uh, we're gonna actually use it to store energy. And so what we're doing is we're gonna take that same well, we're gonna pump water into the ground, we're gonna store the water inside the rock under pressure. And when we wanna produce power, when we actually wanna deliver power back to the grid, we're gonna let that pressurized water come out of the well and spin a turbine. And that's energy storage. PRIs are dire for companies like QuidNet because without PRIs, whether you're in sectors like energy, healthcare, other places like that, these companies will never get capital and will a lot of times die before they ever even make it to alleviating any aspect of the problem. What's so exciting about Prime is this is a group of individuals that is being incredibly innovative about how you fund these ventures. And I think that if we can get organizations like Prime to, to grow and, and create larger sources of capital, I think you're gonna see a lot of early stage ventures getting funded in this space.